But first attend the unsolved murder of a young Phoenix mother. This month marks 35 years since her body was found lying in the desert in the Castle Hot Springs area. ABC 15's Ashley Paredes is looking into the investigation with the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office. She obtained never before seen pictures, interview transcripts, and an exclusive information of where this cold case stands all these years later. At the time of her going missing, she was estranged from her husband. And so she's a single mother of a one-year-old, gainfully employed, sharing her apartment with a roommate. Back in 1989, 24-year-old Lisa Marie Wingo was living in Phoenix. She had a large social circle, often relying on others for rides, something Commander Tom Boltz with the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office says has made the case more difficult. This is a difficult one because of those relationships because of that lifestyle um, it just expands your your pool of suspects wingo was working as a waitress in glendale a place called shanty's fish and chips she would typically ride two buses to get there but investigator teresa higdon tells us it was determined she was not on either on january 9 1989. lisa had spoke to her roommate that morning and said i'm heading out to work but later that morning, Lisa's boss called the apartment and got the roommate and asked about Lisa because she hadn't shown up for work. Lisa's roommate, Andra, filed a missing person report the very next day. A friend also reported to investigators Lisa had said she felt like she was, quote, being watched. Just a week later, her body was found in the Castle Hot Springs area, north of Lake Pleasant. Investigators told us once we get onto Castle Hot Springs Road, it's just another 8.5 miles to get to the crime scene. To go to that particular spot, someone more than likely knew where they were going. Um, they, they either frequented the lake or frequented it as a hunter or, you know, they were familiar camping something. They were familiar with that area is my belief. It's not a road that you just drive up because you want to throw a body out. It was in this exact area nearly 35 years ago when hunters discovered Lisa's body lying underneath this tree. ABC 15 obtained these never before seen photos from the crime scene showing how the area looked in 1989. Lisa was found partially clothed with investigators able to collect DNA from some items including a strand of hair. Lisa's cause of death was determined to be strangulation. She had some abrasions about her, so there was some violence beyond the strangulation. So I don't think she went without putting up a fight. Somewhere down in that time frame, she put up some kind of a fight. Investigators have interviewed dozens of people over the years, including Lisa's estranged husband, but no arrests have ever been made. Love them that we probably could say they're cleared. Um, some of them that were still on that, you know, person of interest list. Through a records request, ABC 15 received an interview transcript of a deputy questioning an acquaintance in 1989. He said Lisa asked him for a ride since she had no transportation. But when he and a friend went to pick her up from her apartment, her roommate Andra was apparently the only one there. Okay, and then you go over there, she's not there? Yeah, we knocked on the door. Right. We knocked on her door, is Lisa here? Nope, she left yesterday. She didn't come home and shut the door. You, you remember Audra saying that? She left yesterday and she didn't come home? Yeah. Okay, in relationship to that, when did you find out she was actually dead? A few days later, I talked to Floyd on the phone and he said, hey, Lisa's been killed. The sheriff's office hopes someone will provide a tip that can further the case, but they have submitted DNA for testing and believe advancements in genetic genealogy could be the answer to finding a suspect. She deserves to have that case solved and have somebody brought to justice. Her daughter has three children who never knew their biological grandmother, so she did not deserve the demise that she got. Ashley Paredes, ABC 15, Arizona.